Hello everyone, my name is Boko, thank you for coming. Download the free PDF for this lesson and many other lessons on my Kofi page. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's begin. Hajde da počnemo. This is conversation lesson number 28. What is your city like? Kakav je tvoj grad? Warm up, zagrevanje. City, grad. I live in a city. Živim u gradu. Town, mali grad. At least that's how I translated it. Um, this literally means small city, obviously, because we don't have uh, a different or a separate word for a town in Serbian. We don't have a separate word for a city and a town. Uh, he lives in a town. On živi u malom gradu. So I guess I will have a problem if I have to say a small city or a big town because I wouldn't know how to translate it since I've translated town as a small city. But I really don't have any options here. Village, selo. She lives in a village. Ona živi u selu. In the countryside, na selu. So the only thing that is different here is the preposition, okay? Do you live in the countryside? Dali živiš na selu. And do you live in the village? Dali živiš u selu. Rural area, ruralno područje. Suburban area, prigradsko područje. Urban area, gradsko or urbano područje, street, ulica, neighborhood, kraj, block, block, near, blizu, far away, daleko. Vocabulary, vocabular, supermarket, supermarket, there is a supermarket near here, uh, postoj supermarket blizu, uh, movie theater bioskop, there is a movie theater in my neighborhood, postoj bioskop u mom kraju, park, park, there is a park, postoj park, bus station, autobuska stanica. Train station, železnička stanica. There is a train station, postoji železnička stanica. Restaurant, restoran. There is a restaurant at the end of the street. Restoran se nalazi na kraju ulice. Uh, literally, the restaurant is located at the end of the street. Basically, both postoi and nalazise is a good translation uh, for there is. Uh, but I think that when, you're, when you have a more specific information to give about the location, uh, as we had here, uh, maybe then it is slightly more accurate to say nalazise. You know, it, it is the same time kind of there is, and it is located, you know, so you can put it all in nalazise, uh, you know, uh, at the end of the street, nalazise na kraju ulice. Um, but you wouldn't make a mistake if you said um, there is a restaurant at the end of the street, uh, postoi restoran na kraju ulice. It would be, it would be fine, definitely. Okay, so anyway, some more examples for this. There is a playground in the park. Igralište se nalazi u parku. So you're, you're kind of um, 
saying or giving out the location of it like a bit more accurate than just there is a park you know or there is a playground rather you know you're saying that the playground is located in the park so maybe slightly better to say igralište se nalazi u parku in these examples but there is a playground as well just saying a general sentence like that postoi i igralište right would be slightly better to say it this way a basketball court košarkaški teren football field futbalski teren swimming pool bazen bank banka post office Pošta, theater, pozorište. Let's practice. Hajde da vežbamo. Where do you live? Gde živiš? I live in a city. Živim u gradu. Where does he live? Gde on živi? He lives in a town. On živi. U malom gradu. Where do they live? Gde oni žive? They live in a village. Oni žive u selu. There is a park. Postoji park. There is a movie theater. Postoji bioskop. There is a supermarket. Postoi supermarket. There is a restaurant. Postoi restaurant. More vocabulary. Još vocabulara. Interesting. Interesantan. Interesantna. Interesantno. It is interesting. Interesantno je. Boring. Dosadan, dosadna, dosadno. The girl is boring. Devojka je dosadna. Small, mali, mala, malo. It is a small village. Selo je malo. Big, veliki, velika, veliko. It is a big city. Grad je veliki. Quiet, miran, mirna, mirno. It is a quiet town. To je miran, mali grad. Busy, zauzet, zauzeta, zauzeto. It is a busy street. To je zauzeta ulica. Dialogue, dialogue. Where do you live? Gde živiš? I live in New York. It is a big city. Živim u New Yorku. To je veliki grad. What is it like? Kakav je? It is busy and interesting. How about you? Where do you live? Zauzet je i Interesantan. A ti? Gde ti živiš? I live in a village. Ja živim u selu. What is it like? Kakvo je? So we are saying kakvo, neuter, because selo is a neuter word, a neuter noun. It is small, malo je. Is there a supermarket in your village? Dali postoji supermarket u tvom selu? Yes, there is. Da. Is there a train station? Dali postoji železnička stanica? No, there isn't a train station. Ne. Nema. Železničke stanice. Is there a restaurant? Da li postoji restoran? 
No, there isn't. Ne. Is there a movie theater? Dali postoi bioskop. No, there isn't. It is small and quiet. Ne. Malo je i mirno. Questions, pitanja. Where do you live? Gde živiš? What is it like? Kakav je, if it's masculine, maybe a city, grad. Or kakvo je, if it's a village or something that is neuter. Is there a supermarket? Da li postoji supermarket? Is there a park? Da li postoji park? Do you like going to the lake? Da li voliš da ideš na jezero? Is the beach near? Da li je plaža blizu? Do you go on foot or by car? Da li ideš peške ili autom? Do your children like the river? Da li tvoja deca vole reku? Alright, thank you very much for watching. If you wish to have a live one-on-one -on -one lesson, you can find me on italki. If you use the link in the video description to sign up and uh, when you spend $20 in italki credits, you will receive an additional $10. Also, improve your Serbian on the language learning app, Utalk. If you use the link in the video description, you will get a 30% discount. And don't forget to check out my coffee page. Hvala, vidimo se, ciao!